Okay. So you saw her stay outside, but we're going to simulate somebody being at the door. There's not really somebody at the door, but she has a foundation of what to do when there is somebody at the door. And then I'm also going to show you that she can go through the door and not bolt right past me as well. And I can open and leave the door and it's not an invitation for her to go through it either. Um, so I'm going to pretend to knock and I'm going to pretend somebody's there and then I'm going to place her back on the mat. Okay. go to the mat, lay down and stay. Um, you really did a hardcore stay. You know, like she actually needs it still, so stay. Um, but I should be able to go and open the door. Hi, yeah, come on in. You know, and invite somebody in, leave the door open. Obviously, if there was somebody there, um, she would probably break if it was actually a stranger. Um, I did this with my kids, but kids didn't come down this weekend, so I can't video, but um, when you do this with an actual person, I would have her on leash so that if she breaks, she can't get rewarded with the person at the door, and that was my fault because I'm holding the tree right in front of her face. Um, so anyway, you're still going to have to practice a little bit, but she's got it. Like, she, she really... She really has it. Okay, so now I'm going to demonstrate that she'll come in, in front to me when I'm standing outside the door. Right, right. Good girl! Yes! What a good girl! All right, let's go back inside. Good job, little lady. Um, so I really charged going in and out and coming through the door um, and making that fun and making that more of a training exercise because she actually loves training now because it means, you know, she gets lots of rewards and, you know, and I think you should continue to reward her even in real life when you're not necessarily teaching her something. And her release cue off the mat is all done. 